Sergeant America coming at you. Boom. Here to talk a little bit of comic book heresy. Um, I've been on uh, Travis' show for a while. Uh, maybe some of you know my collecting style. Some of you may not. Um, you know, I was collecting here and there. I was definitely doing trades late to the party. I tended to not read as many books. I've been getting into uh, single issues more so that I had something to chat about, you know, be a little more relevant from week to week instead of just kind of hitting whenever somebody talked on a long arc. So, you know, it, it changed my style. And with that, I didn't realize uh, how much it had changed because I am not a comic book collector. I am a comic book consumer is what I figured out. Uh, there are people who uh, get the first issues, buy special editions, uh, variants, all that kind of stuff, um, who work very hard to keep their books very mint. And to those people, you definitely get a salute. Uh, it is a lot of hard work, and it's a lot of extra money. I figured that out as I started to do, you know, my short boxes. Um, as I'm loading them up, I, you know, I was getting tired of, you know, first bagging and boarding. Uh, sorry, Mark, I understand that that's a big thing. Um, but then I, I noticed that I, uh, you know, filled up my space, even on my short boxes. So now I'm two, now I'm on three, and I'm almost on a fourth short box. And, uh, it, you know, it finally made me think about it, realize that, you know, I am a consumer. I don't treat my books as well as a collector normally does. Um, and that is that new collector who has bought that first uh, comic book. You know, it's, you know, New 52, Issue 42, Justice League. You know, that collector is the same as the collector who is uh, hunting down that, um, you know, amazing Spider-Man, you know, number 20, uh, in my mind, in my opinion. That, that person is a collector and they're collecting. They're creating a treasure trove of delicious books that they are going to enjoy throughout their left, lifetime, maybe pass on to someone else or sell for a bundle. Um, I am not. Uh, my, my books, you know, are not in mint condition. Um, I don't tend to look to buy books usually in mint condition. The condition only factors in a little bit for me. Um, you know, I'm a collector. I'm not, I'm not a collector. I'm a consumer. I, I, I eat it up. I, I like my um, books I get from the library, and I know many of you do too. Um, the, the cheap ones that smell a little funny, uh, you know, uh, the, the issue that I can, you know, there's, there's two of them next to each other, and this one got a little scrunched up, and so it's a little bit cheaper. I'm going to go for a little bit cheaper. That, that's who I am. You know, I just need to get that story. Um, there's a couple things I look for, you know, like uh, Sorrentino's art made me go from digital to physical, and I wanted to get my hands on that physical copy. It is beautiful art. I understand why there's collectors out there. And like I said, uh, you know, the collectors do a lot to uh, ensure those books are good. You know, I, I bagged and I boarded mine and then I continue going through. But then there's a lot of them that I, you know, I don't overly care for. And so, you know, I got, uh, I got just this, you know, uh, you know, little uh, magazine holding thing. And, you know, the initiative, uh, new warriors, you know, I don't, I don't really care for them, but I got a whole bunch of them at a great deal. So, and I wanted to read them. Uh, they go into this thing. Um, you know, they're not protected from the elements. You know, they're not even protected from my cats. Um, and then I noticed the newest thing that I do now is I purchased, um, you know, I still bag and I board, um, certain books. But now I've gone to silver size bags. Um, my other ones, they were they just felt really tight, and so you know I, I have my bag, I have my board, and I really love these covers of Agents of Atlas. So I mean these are things that I I, I want to keep, you know. You know I, I really enjoyed this. So you know I slip it in my bag, and I know that you know that. Just showing you this, just so you understand what I'm doing now. I get my board in there, you know, 
I get another one, Agents of Atlas, that I also love. And now in my boarded and bagged thing on the back side, I did uh, get double sided acid free. Um, I think that is more because of my shop go, you know, tends to have a lot of, you know, they go high quality. I don't know that I could have found single sided uh, cardboard. Um, so then I got two of them in here. I have a ton of twos. In my old ones, they were just a little tight. I got a little extra wiggle room in the bag with this. Uh, but I haven't stopped there. Um, so then I have another Agent of Atlas. I'm just going to slide that in on this side. I got this other Agent of Atlas. I'm going to slide that one in this side. So now in my Silver Edition bag with the board in the middle, I have four books that are in here. Um, I know it's, it's it's the heresy of it. Um, last thing that I'll do is I get my tape, get a nice length of tape, do do do, fold sticky side onto sticky side, just about a quarter of the way there. So now there's this nice little handle on top. I close my bag. I secure it so that all I have to do is peel down. The tape is still holding on the bag. As it even goes up, I still have my flap. I can take my books out, and the tape will never touch my books. Uh, thank you, Captain Cummings, for that information and th that idea. Uh, that is definitely something I stole from him. Um, and I'm very thankful for that information. So this is me, the consumer. Um, Sergeant America, the comic book consumer, not the collector. Um, once again, there are many people out there who treat their books like babies, and some of those books definitely deserve it. Um, once again, salute to you. People are taking care of those books. I hope you get bajillions of dollars off of them. I hope that, you know, there's a lot of work that also has to go into that part of it. Um, but like I said, you know, even if you consume it to the day or you read it and collect it to the day you die, it is still a treasure to you. It'll be a treasure you pass on or sell or just bury with you so nobody else ever gets it. Um, I guess that's the thing I have to say. I am the, the heretic here. I am the consumer. I would like to hear from you guys. Uh, you know, um, good, bad, ugly, go ahead and rip me on this one. Uh, but let me know, how are you treating your books? Uh, I'm definitely curious on how this is going for other people. Uh, I love seeing uh, big haul boxes, you know, um, or big, uh, you know, videos where you dig through and I see everybody's and they're all nice and neat and they got the special separators that tell them, you know, these are the amazing Spider-Mans, these are the spectacular Spider-Mans, you know, um, to see what collectors do with theirs. You know, there may be more things that I do. I may end up kicking myself later in life, but I... As time goes on, I find that I am truly a consumer. I'm buying stuff just, you know, to enjoy it. And, uh, you know, like I always said, too, things catch my eye, so I buy weird random things that later on I'm like, well, it's not a good buy. Um, but, hey, you know, like I said, consumer, not collector, but I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say about your collections. Uh, let me know. Comment below. Keep making videos. Cheerio. Catchphrase.